passion or relationship between Valentine and Gazelle? Fusional. Professional relationship? <laughs> um, I think that Team. that she's she's Valentine's um, right hand. Well, even more than that, I think Associate. she's she's the side of Valentine that is not physical, that um, is strong in the physical sense. And I'm the part of her that creates and, and makes things work. And she, she creates a safe environment for me to do those things in. Mm -hmm. Make sure everything goes smoothly. Valentine is a bigger than life villain in the classic tradition, but is it also fair to call him a twisted environmentalist? No, I mean he has he has he has a very very clear idea about you know how to save the planet, and I think for a number of years his environmental uh, ideas have have had a lot of merit and have produced great results for you know the planet and for people in general. Um, the idea that he has is not a bad one; it's just the implementation of it that's uh, a little twisted. And Sophia, you're a former dancer, so you obviously know how to move well. But martial arts maneuvers were huge for this film. Can you describe your physical training? It was three months of intense um, learning, you know, martial arts, and boxing, and all that. And I had to go through that, having never done it before. I think being a dancer allowed me to uh, to approach the, the 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 movement and learn the choreography and mimic. Um, precisely what they were doing now the the bigger challenge was to actually hit every single move and to actually look like a strong fighter you never had a fight in your life not that kind <laughs> <laughs> when i was really young maybe you are very really. young what are you talking about <laughs> that's true when you were very young <laughs> get out of here last year can you both discuss Matthew Vaughn's vision for the film and what specifically caught your interest? No. <laughs> you have to ask him that. We can tell you he's enthusiastic and that he made every day fun for us, that um, he um, created an environment that allowed us to be as free and open creatively as we wanted to be. Uh, and made sure, well, I I intentionally go to work every day to have fun. I don't care if the movie's like a drama or whatever. I go to have a good time um, because that's what it is. It's, it's fun to be able to inhabit another character and to tell a story and to be involved in that story and make that story, you know, come to life. So he was, he was very open to our ideas. He was very open to our processes. Uh, and, and, and he allowed us to enjoy ourselves while we did it, mm -hmm. you know, and made sure that, you know, we had the space to have that fun. He really cares about it and he has fun. And it shows when you're on set. I had a great time watching him um, speaking about the characters and, and being very meticulous, yeah. paid attention to details. And he really geeks out of everything that you see in the film. He truly is that guy. Or even say, don't be so serious. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, being a villain in a comic franchise, how is that different from Nick Fury in the Marvel films? Actually none whatsoever. It's kind of hard to tell what Nick Fury is, if he's a villain or he's a good guy. You know, I mean, he works on the good side, but it's still difficult to tell. He's, 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 he's such an integral part of the shadow world. Uh, you never know. But, um, you know, being able to play a character like like uh, Valentine is still an enormous amount of fun. Just because um, where he is or what people identify him as as a villain doesn't necessarily make him a villain. Because in my mind, you know, mm -hmm. these Kingsman people, you know, run around killing people with no government sanction. And nobody knows who they are, and they why should they be allowed to do that? And we can't help people the way we want to help. And then a question for both of you. What's your favorite comic book turned franchise and why? I like Kick-Ass a lot. 
It was great. Why? I liked why because mm. it's loads of fun. <laughs> Not like, because she's a little girl that can like do all those things. And, she's you know. an eight-year-old, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it's she's unusual. older now. No, but at the time. Yeah, at the beginning. Yeah, yeah. at the beginning. Yeah. Kev, how about you? Oh, well, I have to go back to Avengers just because it's been, you know, so good to me. And being able to play Nick Fury in that particular world has been, you know, a really great joy. And uh, I appreciate it. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey, you guys.